Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today, I want to share with you an app I made. This one's called Droid Miner, and it allows for mining using the GPU on Android. I'm using the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. And as you can see right here, I'm getting on high power mode, I'm getting 300 kilohashes a second, getting a bit of Ethereum mining happening over here. Now I'm gonna show you exactly how to use the app, download it, install it, set up a wallet, all that stuff that you want to experiment and try out on your phone. If you have any issues, let me know. Hit the contact section. I'll try building that support to support your devices. At the moment, we're only mining with the eTash algorithm, but we do have Kapow. I've uh, developed a Mac miner previously on the Mac, and uh, we can just go full throttle ahead for all this. Now, the cool thing about this application is you can set the intensity of the mining. So for example, you can switch between high power mode, low power mode, maximum power mode, and it also has two cuffs. So if you unplug from power, it will automatically stop mining and it won't let you mine unless you're plugged into power. And if your phone's thermal status gets too hot, automatically shuts off. So I'm trying to preserve the levels on your phone in the future in settings, you can always tune it and figure out what you wanna do. But for now, let me just show you the efficiency. I've plugged it into one of these power meters. And right now we're using three watts of energy and we are on high power mode, getting 250 kilohashes a second. Now this does jump to over 300 every now and then, and it does lose a bit of more power. But if I go to maximum, now maximum power, it does slow down the phone quite a bit and you can throttle if you are in hot temperatures. So maybe just avoid that one. That one's purely for testing, but we're still using only two, two to four watts, 4.7 watts right there. And we're getting 300 kilohashes a second. Oh, it's jumped up to 450 kilohashes a second. So the Samsung S22 Ultra, mines almost at half the speed of an M1 Mac. So that's pretty interesting. On low power mode, or well, I'll switch up to very low power mode. And on very low power mode, we drop all the way down to around 90 kilohashes a second. That's 90,000 hashes a second. So you might see some other CPU miners, very, very slow compared to this GPU. And we're using two watts of energy. Now I'll show you something cool. I'm gonna unplug the power right now, boom. And like that, it has automatically stopped mining. And normally the phone, just to use the screen, is around one watt. So all of those figures I just told you, four watts more maximum mode, all that kind of stuff, you take away one and that's actually the mining consumption. So it's a very, very, very energy efficient miner. So that was a quick rundown of the energy usage. So in idle, we're using one watt and in maximum, we're using 4.7. So take away one, 3.7 is how much juice we're using on maximum mode to mine. One thing to note is of course, the more power you give to the mining, the less fluid your phone will be. So if you put it on high power mode, the screen may chug a little bit. If you wanna be a bit unnoticeable, I say low or very low, you don't really even notice it running in the background, unless maybe you're playing a game, then it will be competing for GPU resources. But play around a bit, let me know how it is. So I'll now show you how to set up mining on your phone if you wanna try it out and all of that kind of good stuff you need to know about. All right, first up, you go to droidminer.com, hit download app, and it will go ahead and download the file. When you hit open, Security will tell you, hey, you can't install from unknown sources. This is because we are downloading it from the internet and not downloading it from Google Play. Officially, Google Play doesn't allow mining apps. That's why we've got to do it this way. So you go into install unknown apps and you pretty much just enable it and hit install. It will go ahead and start installing the show and then boom, Play Protect will say it's blocked. You just say install anyway. And once it's done, you can open it. Play Protect will also say, do you want to send some analytics to them? You can send it or not send. I choose not to send. And that is it. The app is now ready. But before you get started mining, you need to set up your wallet and server. The server is your mining pool. So for example, Unminable, this is a cool service which allows you to mine using eTash, but you get to mine lots of different coins. So you can get Shiba Inu, you can get SafeMoon, you can get Brand, Basic, Dogecoin, all that kind of good stuff. Dogecoin, Dogeloin, Mars, all the crazy coins. So just say I want to mine, uh, let's see, Solana. That seems pretty hot at the moment. Tap it right there. It tells you exactly how to get mining. So it tells you that your server is etash.unminable.com colon 3333, which is the default setup one. So etash.unminable.com 3333. I've prefixed it with Stratum, which is what you need to connect to that pool but etash.unminable.com. So if you wanna use your own pool, you kinda of like just put it in the details in there, right there. For your wallet, I recommend you get in a wallet. You can get something like Atomic Wallet. This one works on Android, you get that free from the Play Store. And with Atomic Wallet, it's kinda of cool because it gives you access to lots and lots and lots of different coins. 
So you want to, in this case, this specific case, you want to Solana want it and you tap on receive, it gives you a unique address. So you copy that address and you type it in there. However, unminable requires you to input it in this format. So it's S O L colon your address dot your worker name. So to follow that through at the beginning of your wallet address, you type in S O L colon and you give it a worker name. So I'm going to give it S22, click OK. So now I've got my wallet and my server set up. We're good. I click back, I hit start mining. Now by default, it tries accessing the internet. And as you can see, I'm using a NetGuard firewall and it tells you the connections that's being made. You can use a firewall too if you're concerned about dodgy apps, but there you go. I've enabled firewall access and I've also keeping a log of all the firewall attempts. So I tap start mining. My phone is plugged in, so it's gonna allow me to mine. And first up, it tries mining for a 1% dev fee. You can, of course, skip this at any moment, but it'd be cool if you didn't give me some coins. But if not, it's all good. Once you hit skip, it's gonna start mining your coin. And it takes a little while to connect. It's connected right now. Now it's preparing, so it's generating the DAG. This can take a few minutes, depending on how much power you give it. So if I'm on very low power, you can see the percentage just going up very slowly. However, if I go to high power, just for this phase, it goes up a lot faster. So just leave your phone alone for a couple of minutes. It will finish preparing, go to 100%, and then it will start mining the coin as we saw before. And with the phone usage right now, let's just go into, you can see it's like maybe a little bit choppier than before. You can see, let's see the animation, maybe it's a little bit sluggish, maybe, maybe. Also, if you scroll down, it does launch a notification telling you exactly what it's doing in the background. The connection is being made, AC power and the temperature, so it's not under throttling. Of course, if it does start to throttle too much, it automatically turns off and you do unplug the phone just like this, the service will straight away stop. If you're, for example, using Unminable, you can go ahead and type in your Solana address, paste it in there. And after maybe half an hour or so, you should see your worker appear around there. And there you go, you're mining the show. So there you go, how to mine on Android. Straight and simple app to use. Let me know how you find it. What kind of features, developments you wanna improve on it? Does it work on your phone? Hopefully I can build that support for it. And stay tuned because I'll be integrating other algorithms, for example, CowPow, and other features, for example, automatic auto start mining that will be useful and setting your own temperature. Hope you guys found this video useful. Enjoyed the show. Well, enjoyed mining. Whoa, I have meme coins now.